What's up, Infected? Welcome to the quarantine. Uh, this video is covering a game by the name of Duress. Now, what is Duress? Well, Duress is a an abstract chess-like game that basically uses Scrabble pieces, and you're trying to get your letter on top of the letter that matches yours before your enemy does. But it incorporates chess-like movement we have to think on the fly based on a random chess piece that you get. So let's just go over to how it's played. In a game of duress, you're going to set up the board pretty much however you want, as long as you make sure the board is symmetrical. Now the game has your default set up here, and then it has a few examples that you see down here, but really you can set up the board however you would like, as long as it's symmetrical. Now my favorite way is to randomize, is to set these up about like this, but randomize them, and then randomize these and set them out on the edge. Now in order to play a game of duress, your turn is very simple. You're going to shuffle the white tokens up here, and you will reveal one, such as a rook. Now all of these are going to be chess pieces, so I show a rook. I'm allowed to pick any one of my pieces here and I can move it as though it were a rook, which is up, down, left and right, orthogonally. So I can say choose this D and move it straight up to here. Now my goal is I want to get this on top of the yellow D. Now I want to do that before my opponent does. So I'm going to flip this back over, we're going to shuffle these up, now my opponent will do the same thing. They also pick a rook, whether it's the same one or not. I don't know, but there's two of them in here. So maybe they choose uh, this A, and they're gonna move it right here. And it goes back to me. We're gonna do the same thing again. I would reveal one, and I revealed a king, which a king is any direction, one space, so I can move this right here. And the game is gonna go back and forth until one player controls the majority of these letters. Now it should be noted that I would not be able to move this B on top of the A because there is no piece capturing. And once I have claimed a letter, it cannot be claimed by my opponent. Now the game is gonna go back and forth until, as I said, one player controls the majority of the letters in the middle. If both players control half of the board, then the game would be declared a draw. All right, duress. Well, Duress, right out of the gates, I'm going to say, is a good, fun little game. If you like chess and you want to put a really neat little spin on it, definitely pick up Duress. It, it's a lot of fun. Now, I recently taught my daughter how to play chess, and I kind of showed her how to play Duress, and we played it, and she really enjoyed this as well. She's 10. So, I mean, it, it really appeals to all ages. She thoroughly enjoys this one, and it helps her think on the fly and kind of think out of the box which also helps her in her chess game, which was really cool. Because being able to select one of them and flip it over and you see a piece and now you have to think, okay, and especially for somebody who's, you know, like my daughter, new to chess, she has to think, okay, what is that piece? Okay, that's a bishop. How does a bishop move? Okay, bishop moves in diagonals any number of spaces. Okay, let me look at the board and see what piece that I can effectively use that at. And, and that was really cool, and it was, it was, so it's simple enough to where, you know, my 10 year old daughter was able to grasp it no problem, but it has a deep enough strategy where, you know, the adults can play it. And don't expect, you know, chess level of strategy here, but it is really, really cool, and it, it also makes you have to think on the fly. You have to strategize as you play, because unlike a game of chess where this piece will always move like this, this piece will move however you choose it to move at that time. However, the game does have uh, a few minor flaws. Uh, the first one, and the, honestly the one we found the biggest, is these pawn pieces. Now, I recommend remove most, if not even all, of the pawn pieces before you play. Um, because nothing sucks more than having your opponent drawing rooks and bishops and queens and knights and you've drawn a pawn for three or four rounds in a row. It's incredibly annoying. Uh, they really brought the game down. Now when we removed all of them, the game was way more fun because now you're using the good pieces and actually trying to out-strategize and whatnot. Now another minor issue that we did have is just how fiddly it is. Uh, the squares are about the exact same size as the Scrabble pieces, 
So, I don't know, when you have a bunch of pieces bunched around, it's kind of a pain. I would have liked to have seen the board maybe a little bit bigger, uh, so it doesn't feel quite as fiddly, because it is fairly fiddly, but it wouldn't feel as bad if the spaces were, I don't know, half a square bigger. It would have made it a little bit easier, just kind of a quality of life improvement. Overall, yes, I definitely recommend Duress. It's a good, fun little game that has quite a bit of strategy, but it's a lot of like seedy your pants strategy where you have to think in the now. You can't go, okay, this is what I'm going to do numerous turns later. You can set yourself up and go, well, if this happens, this is what I'll do. But you can't rely on that. You have to, you know, it, you have to go by the seedy your pants. But the game can also be very aggressive. While you can't capture pieces, you can block pieces. So you set up a wall, and then now the opponent can't get through it unless they have a knight. And so it, it has just quite a bit of strategy for such a light, simple little game. Uh, so if you're into seat of your pants strategy games, that's really fun. That you know you can play with your with your kid, your spouse, your significant other, whoever. I definitely recommend picking up uh, Duress. It's a great little game. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time in the corner.